present a check from our friends at NBCU for the oxygen mask supply for the Duck Fire Department. My name is Sandy Quadros Bowles. I'm the Vice President of the Coalition for Animals. And one of the main work that we do is supporting animals and animal causes in the area and making sure our animal friends uh, get the help they need. Uh, so this donation is hugely helpful. Uh, and we are looking, you know, we're always looking for donations of any size. Uh, and, you know, we're really appreciative to them. And I'm going to turn it over. Well, I also want to introduce, we have quite a few folks here. We have uh, Fire Chief Scott Kruger, Acting Deputy Steve Medeiros, Lieutenant Tom Carrero, Deputy Director of EMS Michael Thomas, Captain of EMS David Sander, Manny Maciel, who's our Animal Control Officer, and Shelly and Brandon, who are also Animal Control Officers, and we're all here to support this great cause. So I'm going to have the Chief speak a bit because he uh, knows the, the program as well as anyone, and he knows firsthand how it helps. Chief? So, yep. <clears throat> Uh, thank, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Sandy. We appreciate it. Uh, thanks for all being here. This is a great, this is a great cause this morning. It's a great, it's a great cause anytime. But I just want to thank uh, the New Bedford Credit Union for uh, for stepping up and uh, being able to donate, you know, a thousand dollars towards pet rescue, uh, this pet rescue equipment to resuscitate uh, any uh, domesticated animals that are stricken uh, uh, from a house fire. Not only fire, but also uh, smoke and the whole, the whole incident that played out on uh, Sunday, on that Sunday morning on County Street, it's really a group effort, and it starts with, you know, the firefighters going inside. Obviously, you know, we, they rescued three people, but not only that, is is the uh, when when they made entry, they began uh, coming across cats that were trying to escape, not one or two, but dozens of them. So they began rescuing uh, the cats and bringing them outside. <clears throat> <clears throat> so it was it it became readily apparent in a short amount of time that it was kind of like an animal mass casualty incident so it became a, a group effort between uh our firefighters that were outside uh new bedford police officers also all of the paramedics that were standing by there mike uh, deputy director thomas was there as well uh so new bedford ems's para, uh, paramedics played uh, uh a they, they went over above and beyond, uh, you know, assisting all of these uh, stricken uh, cats. Um, you know, after they finished treating the people, they came back to the scene and they spent hours taking care of cats. Also, you know, the cats have to get, they had to get to the, vet, uh, the veterinarian some way and that animal control, uh, they transported cats uh, as far away as Rhode Island uh, so they could be uh, further cared for. So just the sheer volume of them, you know, it was 60, it was about 60 of them all together. I think we saved, are 25 of them which is you know I wish we could have been more but you know we did everybody did the best they could so uh, both departments EMS and fire had a limited supply of uh, cat resuscitation equipment uh, available on that morning uh, up until that point we had a few kits available to us what we would do is every time we would use them we would disinfect them uh, because of the sheer amount of, of cats that were there uh, we ended up exhausting all of them. They ended up going with animal control. So now they, we have to find a mechanism to replace them. So fortunately, the credit union stepped up and they're able to replace them uh, for both fire and EMS. Uh, so <clears throat> I just want to say that, you know, there's, there's two other parts to this. One is, is like the, the medical treatment part of it is that, you know, animals have a smaller body mass, especially cats. So they're more prone to suffer uh, from carbon monoxide poisoning, which is obviously smoke is full of carbon monoxide. So just like small children or small people, they get uh, carbon monoxide poisoning a lot faster than, than uh, adults do just because of bo their body mass is smaller and they tend to breathe faster. So they will succumb to smoke inhalation uh, very quickly. So that's why I'm able to treat them with high flow oxygen using this equipment. So, and also on the human aspect of it is that, you know, people, people are experiencing the worst day of their life. They, sometimes they've lost their home, they've lost everything. So if we can save their pet, then at least that's one thing that they, they still have. They still have their, their family pet, especially if they have children, whether it's a cat, dog, or whatever. If we can save that pet, uh, it, makes it makes that day a little bit brighter uh, on, on, like I said, a very bad day. So not only, and I can speak as far, you know, for, for New Bedford EMS, 
obviously, you know, we treat people, treating patients on a daily basis, that's our thing, but when we can save uh, animals at any time, and especially uh, when they're victims of a house fire, uh, that's what we're there for is, is uh, protect life and property. So just want to say thanks for all being here. Thanks to the credit union. Um, I asked Sparky if he wanted to say a few words today, but uh, he declined. He's a dog of, of very few words. So, uh, so thanks to everybody. We appreciate it. Um, thank you. And now I'd like to introduce Berta Vareo. She's the president and CEO of NBCU and her great company has helped us out and she'd like to say a few words. Thank you, Sandy. And I'd just like to introduce our chairman of our board here to my right, Jim Allen, our treasurer and clerk behind me. This is Tom Carrero. And we're proud to support the Coalition for Animals. And I'd also like to thank our fire department, EM EMS. They're our, our true community heroes. Again, we're glad to be part of this. Um, and we're hoping that this will encourage other communities um, in, in our surrounding towns and cities so that they will also contribute and donate to such a worthy cause. So thank you again. Um, and I'd like to present this check to Sandy, Coalition for Animals, along with a second donation from our employees and staff in the amount of $200. Thank you so much. special but it's also so special that the employees themselves contributed because it's also proof that any donation you make no matter the size helps tremendously so anyone that can help us we would be so appreciative um, and again thank you so much to NBCU for this this is great this is like your your regular human mass is so different as you can see, it's, it's we have medium, large, and small, for like a small dog, a small cat, and then here is a, more of a medium size for a medium dog, a medium cat. But as you can see, even with small dogs, you get a good grip because of the nose goes inside a hole here, and it kind of gives it that protection, so you so you, you don't lose none of that oxygen. Thank you so much. So you don't lose none of that oxygen. So in a case like Max here, you put it on, you can see that it covers the mouth and the snout. So it's really good uh, overall coverage. I mean, I would be able to even go with this one if I needed to. It's a little more tighter, but it still also fits. This is more of like a medium size. So depending on, on the animal, the cat, the dog, that's why it's important to, to get all three and all, just all three of them uh, is a kit, as you can see here. And it comes with tubing for the mask. And uh, so the donation today will help not just New Bedford, it also helped Cushnet, uh, Fairhaven, Dartmouth. Uh, if, with, with any extra money we have, we'll buy them some masks because NBCU is also not just a New Bedford bank, it's a community bank of our local area. Just like the coalition is, it's a, it's a, it's a local organization in uh, South, South Coast in uh, the greater New Bedford area. So again, appreciate if you'd like to donate, uh, feel free to reach out to the Coalition for Animals or uh, uh, with other programs that they have.